today's episode is all about servos. And what exactly is a servo? Well, it's one of these magical little devices, and it's used in such cool applications like remote control vehicles. And of course, robots. Often a servo is gonna look like this guy here, your standard hobby RC servo. And what it is basically is a robot muscle. <laughs> and here's how these little black plastic boxes do all of that. Inside you have a DC motor for the movement, a potentiometer hidden in here to sense that movement, a bunch of gears to connect the potentiometer to the DC motor, and an integrated circuit to interpret the signals from the potentiometer and from your controller device. So, how does one go about controlling one of these spectacular little devices? Well, it's something called pulse width modulation, or PWM for short. And what exactly is PWM? Well, it has everything to do with the width of a square wave voltage pulse. These pulses come every 20 milliseconds, or at a frequency of 50 hertz, and it's the width of these pulses that determines the angular position of the shaft of the servo. A width of 1 millisecond will correspond to a motor shaft position of 0 degrees, while a width of 2 milliseconds will correspond to a motor shaft position of whatever the maximum extent of the servo motor is. A pulse width of 1.5 milliseconds is going to equate to exactly half of your servo motor's full range, and this is all accomplished by that magical little integrated circuit that was mentioned before. It's also important to send these uh, PWM signals to the servos at the right frequency and with the right width. To accomplish this, uh, you need a controller. So in this case, we have a Fidgets Advanced Servo 8-motor controller. Of course, not all servos are going to look like this guy. We've had this one sitting here all along. What this is is a linear actuator. It takes the rotational motion of the motor and using a screw thread converts it into a linear motion. <laughs> 